Hola. So now we can get into the win uh, winner's Basically, lounge. Please. Welcome inside, winner. Sorry, I've been gone for a bit. I've not been feeling great mentally recently, so I kind of just took a bit of a break. But I'm back now. I saw that one person was watching at least. So. This is the winner's lounge. Uh, what the fuck? What are you doing? Kung Lao. Hyper bitch. And... Shaniqua... Hey! Hey, mullet. Hey! Listen up already! I got a great... Nay! Tremendous surprise for you all! Looky over there, dames and dudes! Here he is, the infamous Wasteland Tycoon, Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. Damn. I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dilla Walker! Our latest ass-kicking champion! Oh, my latest golden goose. You stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> So, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. I'm guessing uh, I, myself, need no introduction. Now, you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clay Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. That's why you're here, of course. I know. Everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. Do you... Isn't the... Isn't there like a way... You know, weight limit to an elevator. I mean, Behold, no offense, but this is the innermost core of this high powered city. It smells like Slim Jims and beef jerky. Center of the Clegg Empire, my office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, loosome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, uh, things here will take a turn or two for the better. I'll just you wait. So, uh -huh. enriched not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now, let me tell you about my father. My father, my father was a great man. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see. I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What, what could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a second. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a song shot eyeball. They're extra bobby. Right? Uh -huh. Talk to me. Oh, yes. I mean, no, I didn't mean. Listen here, Killer Dilla Walker. One more thing. Uh oh. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Uh, she's oh, not well. Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. 
My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clang got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner. Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Now, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do, and you're just a stupid little loosome puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosome puppet. Goodbye! You are very much a two-year-old. Whee! Ooh. I was fucking what? How? Oh. He looks just like you. My father likes son. Skirt. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is harder than you think. Okay. What do I do? This is very weird. I dodged out of the way though. I was stuck. This is not going great. Sorry for not talking much. I'm a little bit focused on not fucking dying. Oh, bitch. Listen, you read me? Life gland. Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is, Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. Make sure you torture him the same way you torture others. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel, so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup. Formation. Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon. We're taking you down. You're not taking anything, suckers! I'm Cliff Clayton! I always win! <laughs> Fuck. Myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office. Hey, Lucy. Um, How you doing? What you, you so asked me to be here? Scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too. Pistol? Revolver. There's a, what's special about this revolver? That is the Firestorm Revolver. It is effective at any range and can combust enemies at will. Uh, the Firestorm Revolver, revolver fires swing uh, slugs, which can on command burst into flame and set a target of flame. Okay. So if I do two, it's both. Okay. Sequence completed. I like that. That's pretty cool. Use the Firestorm Revolver's overdrive against the simulated enemies. There's an overdrive. Oh, it's just a fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, this ain't so bad. You. It's a new 
I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Then they just... I see. You're the four of wartime I shield. Modified for your physical part fortification. Violent, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm senile old man. Let me just Pretty in. What's left of it. You check out. Hold on. I will let you in. Poggers. I never say that again. Pulled off a gamer move and I am happy. Convincing old people to let me do stuff. Yay! Oh, perfect fucking elevator music. Huh? Ooh. Shiny! Welcome, Rangers. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. What? Dr. Anton Kvasir. Genius scientist with a shifty past. Original artist, pre apophis they say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. Okay. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup. Uh, Dr. Kvasir? Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. Look at his fucking forehead! Damn! <laughs> he smacked his huge ass forehead. But over time, the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions. Simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. Oh. I know you now. Oh. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Ooh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dag. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or sir, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and dying. Only the elusive Eco-15, still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The eco -pod's still in orbit? I've been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came in, tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. 
think of it. To siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. A diaper boy. You got something to say before I end? Before I end off the video? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I I'm going to try to upload more often. Have a good day. Um, and that will be my message to you for the rest of the day. Have a good day. <laughs>